there's a big difference between a twin soul relationship and another relationship. So if you have met your twin soul or you want to be in a relationship with your twin soul, I think it's good to know the differences because I experienced this soul relationship works differently than another relationship. So let me give you seven differences between a twin soul relationship and another relationship. My name is Loren and I'm here to help people to live in abundance with their twin soul and lead a happy, healthy, wealthy life. So if you are into that, stay tuned and we start with the first difference. A twin soul is your biggest mirror. Your twin soul is your best coach because he or she is your biggest mirror. Of course, everything and everyone is a reflection of you, but no one mirrors you bigger and better than your own true twin soul. This is also the reason you're more triggered by your twin soul. Your divine masculine isn't doing this on purpose. So if someone is hurting you on purpose, you are not dealing with your twin soul. Things a twin soul can do, reject, ignore, or leave you, abandon you. Your twin soul will bring out old patterns from your past in order for you to become the most beautiful, strongest, and happiest version of yourself. Once you've healed your old wounds, the trigger moments will get less and less and you will get closer and closer to your twin soul. The second difference, there's never a lack of love. If you are not in a relationship with your twin soul yet, it isn't because of a lack of love. Maybe your twin soul is overwhelmed by your love. Your twin soul may be blinded by his or her karmic partner or confuse you with this karmic partner. It's also possible that your twin flame is stuck in a brother-sister relationship. Most divine ma masculines are not used to receiving unconditional love from their partner. Maybe they received it in the past from their parents but they're not used to receiving unconditional love in their relationship. They are searching for, for it, just like you are searching for it, but they are not used to it. So maybe they feel like an ordinary person and maybe they feel not good enough for you. Maybe they are afraid that they can't give you the love that you deserve, according to them. The third one, the twin soul love is the greatest unconditional love there is. Sometimes, this love can even feel greater than the love for your children or other loved ones. And you can't understand what is happening to you. You always want the very, very best for your twin soul. And you would do anything to make him or her happy. And you can have such a good feeling about the possible relationship between the two of you. But the divine masculine, especially during separation, can't get to this same feeling. Both of you experience the twin soul journey, but in a completely different way. Subconsciously, you may have longed your whole life for a type of relationship like this. The feelings you have for your twin flame, you have never felt this for someone else. And it amazes you how much love you can feel for another human being. During this journey, you need to learn to be able to give this unconditional love to yourself first. Number four, a twin soul relationship is an inner journey towards yourself. A lot of people want to be in a relationship with their twin flame nowadays. It's a trending topic. People think it's about unconditional love, two bodies and one soul, and it's a magical, beautiful love story, and they will live happily ever after. Well, it isn't a fairy tale at all. It's an inward journey. It's about personal development. And if you're into that, then maybe the twin soul journey and a twin soul relationship is something for you. And maybe it will be the best thing ever happened to you. I think the twin soul journey is the best thing ever happened to me and to be in a relationship with my twin flame and live with our children is the best thing ever happened to me. So I can recommend it to you. And that's where I come in. I love to help people to live in abundance with their twin flame in a healthy, happy relationship. And I also love to help you with these videos. 
The journey to yourself is necessary to get into a relationship with your twin soul. And the divine feminine is doing the healing process and the divine masculine grows automatically with the divine feminine. And some people think it's not fair, but just accept your role. That will make it easier to get into a relationship with your twin soul. And maybe you aren't seeing your growth at the moment, but trust me, you are improving enormously. And the moment you don't need your twin flame anymore, you don't need any confirmation from other people or your twin soul, that's the moment when your twin soul is coming back into your life. Number five. So you can't get your twin soul out of your head. Do you know this song? Can't get you out of my head. But um, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you can't get your twin soul out of your head. People mistake this often for a regular crush, but deep down, you know this is different. You know there is a difference and you are not crazy. The love for your twin flame never ends. And sometimes you want it to be over and you hope the feelings will fade away. But it never will when you're dealing with your true twin flame. When I discovered this, I thought, when I can't get rid of it, I want the best. The best possible for us. And that was for me being and staying together with my twin flame and our children in a loving relationship for the rest of our lives. Number six, your twin soul will always return to you. Your twin soul will always come back into your life because you can never run away from yourself forever. One day you will find out who you really are and stay true to yourself and that's the moment your twin flame will find its way back to you. That doesn't happen in other relationships. In another relationship, when it's done and done, and of course you can give the relationship a second chance, but finally it's over and they're not coming back into your life again and again like a twin flame. It's also possible, it happened to me, um, when you try to let go of your twin soul, that your twin soul unexpectedly appears into your life and maybe you had the feeling this would happen and uh, but if you do this on purpose it won't work because your twin soul is your mirror soul and if you fake it they feel it and then you won't meet them so you cannot do this on purpose <laughs> then the last one you will get closer to each other so there is hope i guarantee you you will get closer to your twin flame if that's your desire. If you are together a lot in the beginning, your divine masculine can withdraw a little bit or completely. He literally has to catch his breath. The feelings that come up take time to process. Your twin soul will ask for space. Give your twin soul this space because it's part of unconditional love. Always give your twin soul space your twin soul will come back to you anyway. And if you build it up slowly, you can see each other more often and longer without your divine masculine running away from you. In the end, you want to be close to each other all the time. And you can be close to each other all the time. You want to be close to each other all the time. You want to wake up every day and maybe you want to work together. Maybe you want to live your soul mission together. It feels so good to be with your twin soul and often with other people, you don't want to be surrounded by their energy all the time. But this isn't the case with your twin soul. You love their energy and their energy can also be healing to you. I intend you now know the seven differences between a twin soul relationship and another relationship. If it helped you, I appreciate the like. And if you subscribe, you will receive more videos to live in abundance together with your twin soul and live a happy and healthy, wealthy life together. Please let me know if you recognize the differences and um, I would love to see you in the next video. Bye bye.